Hey guys, this is Matt Grizzly Outdoors. Uh, today I'm working on that uh, pocket sheath that I've been making for my uh, EDC knife. Uh, this is the first layer. I'm actually going to do this in a double layer. Kind of, uh, you can see some lines. I'm going to do multicolor, and then there'll be a pocket hook out here. Kind of some different design. Something that kind of looks looks fun. So i got to get ready to put this in the mold the second time with the second piece of Kydex, and we'll keep you updated. Uh, again, this color green looks on my camera anyway, it looks kind of like a real faded green, but it's really actually, oh, it's actually pretty bright. So, uh, it's kind of a neat color. I'm going to combine this with the Urban Camo and see how it looks. So hopefully that'll give enough contrast to kind of make it look unique, but yet uh, usable. I'm kind of doing a top catch here, but yeah, I can still grab it if I need to. And then uh, it'll have a, with the camo, it'll have a pocket hook out here somewhere and then these are flared out for the rivet holes. Figure give us some good design underneath and see what it looks like. Just kind of playing around today. Hey guys, we just finished up with our uh, pocket sheath. This is the safety green with the uh, urban camo on top. We did a little uh, square braid uh, lanyard for the knife. This is the BHK Tiger Nap. Nice little neck knife or pocket knife. Uh, just give you an overview of the sheath. Uh, this hook isn't aggressive, aggressive enough to catch the edge of the pocket very well. I put it there more as a stabilization, and I just add the curves in to make it look good. Uh, if you wanted something that would catch the pocket, this would have to be hooked quite a bit more. And maybe even hook on the front, depends on uh, the knife. And also when uh, doing a strictly pocket sheath, you want to uh, really loosen up the retention. This I wanted to be able to still hang on the neck, and to be able to throw in my pocket. So I added a thumb break instead. So I can just pull the knife out real easy. I thought the colors kind of looked neat together. You know, something a little different. It's that double layer kydex again, so I'm starting to play around a little bit more with some of that stuff. It's fair to show you guys that. Any suggestions you guys want to see, let me know. Uh, we can always play around with something. The idea on size, this knife's pretty small. So it slips in your pocket real nice. Yeah, it holds a really good edge. If I uh, after I strop this thing, I can normally shave with it. So, hi right, guys, thanks for watching. Hey guys, it's Matt Grizzly Outdoors. Just got done shooting a video for this guy, a uh, little pocket sheath I made. I wanted to shoot uh, another video here. I made a. Uh, Another sheath I was thinking tonight at work. I work third. I just actually got home from work. It's uh, 3.30. I wanted something from one of my uh, Becker Neckers or, uh, or the BK14, I think is what this is. But uh, anyway, I wanted something unique and I wanted to switch my... Uh, this pocket hook really doesn't work as a pocket hook. It's more of just a stabilizer. So I wanted the pocket hook uh, up higher so when I pull the knife out it does a nice job and it also drops it low enough here that where when you come out you don't cut your pants with the uh, with the blade this guy turned out really nice did the, the uh, tan and the coyote did my relief cuts blended it all in I even kinda did alternating uh, circles here so keep this video short because I think I'm almost out of memory space but just want to show you, show you guys that another uh, pocket sheath uh, this is getting kinda fun to do with some of these odd ones so it's kind of one I was thinking of tonight, so wanted to share that with you. Thanks for watching, guys. Could also, this is still spaced for Molly, so you put, could put a tech lock on this, make this a belt carry too. There's just enough retention where it's not coming out, but yet it pulls nice and smooth. That's what you want for a pocket um, sheath. You don't want something that's going to yank on here. You want to just be able to pop it right out but yeah you don't want to fallen out and with this uh, both these knives the BK uh, 11 